Hi, my name is Stephanie Atkinson. I'm the chair of IoT6. We are in Austin, Texas today, and I have with me Jennifer Parker with Force, Force Point. And Jennifer, tell me a little bit about your background and what you do there. Okay, I'm Jennifer Parker from Force Point, and um, I am in the DevOps team there at Force Point. I'm on the engineering side. Um, I manage a team of developers and QA engineers. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, We're well, cyber, that's, cyber that's security. A, that's a mouthful. Oh, yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about, because I mean, we've been talking a lot about security yeah. and some of the, the risks that are involved, especially <laughs> per pertinent to our topic today around manufacturing and industrial processes yes. and operations. Tell me a couple of things that maybe you learned today that kind of stood out or anything that you think might be something you're going to take back. To oh, yeah, to absolutely. Um, one, and you guys touched upon it last night when we were speaking, you and the panel. Um, you mentioned how people don't think about security, you know, in the beginning, afterthought. how it's an afterthought, a, react, a reactionary um, thought. And, um, yes, in a, most of these presentations, I was talking to Tim earlier today, and I said, I'm not hearing people talk about security. You know, they're talking about the platform as a service and all of these services, but nobody's talking about security. Um, and I do think that we we are going to have another panel. So you, we, we'll, we'll probably have some more content great. on that tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Today is what we, it's today's Wednesday, so yes. Thursday. Okay, awesome. And um, so one of the things that I've one of the things I've learned um, being here today is that I didn't really know what IoT was. And then Eric asked last night, "What is IoT?" And I mean, I knew what it stood for, but I wasn't really <laughs> sure what it was. And after he went through his presentation and kind of um, brought it all together, listening to all of the panels and listening to what everybody had, what everybody's company or services bring. It really came together. Yeah, Eric, she's, Eric from Clearblade had a yes, really great presentation, amazing. giving us kind of a one-on-one -on -one and, and jumping into that. Yes. So, um, so let's talk a little bit about um, uh, you know next year. We're going to have this in April. Okay. And we're going to pull in our topic of smart cities. Are there some topics that might be of interest to you, or that you might be looking forward to for our next event? Smart cities, like the like when Clearblade talked about the the Hudson project. Well, that's yeah. Well, that's the thing is when you think about smart cities, mm -hmm. it's not just about city services, okay. but it's about um, we have quite a few people, resources, right? Oil, energy, utilities, transit, transportation, infrastructure, lighting, safety, surveillance, all of these things that in some cases might be a siloed application, <laughs> but for smart cities, there's a lot of these moving parts, which also means that there are a lot of vendors that um, are going to be targeting that okay. and that we will need to have that intense security exactly. in place. So it's kind of a, a good topic and I'm, you know, yes. lead that in. So what do you think about all of that? Oh, I think it's, a, I think it's amazing. Definitely add security to, to, the, to the topic as one of the resources, as part of one of the resources for transportation, manufacturing. Well, good. Since you're an expert in security, I'm going <laughs> to ask you a question. So a lot of folks out there okay. like to use the term security or IT security okay. in, in, in cyber security, to get, but they're different. Can you talk about the difference between maybe network and IT security versus what, because I mean, all the buzz right now is cyber security. Right. So what's happening with a lot of the hacking and incidents? Can you talk a little bit about maybe how you might see there being some differences or some similarities? In that is a great question. <laughs> Huh. So cyber, when I think cyber security, um, cyberspace is that space out there um, that, that it's still, internet, probably, internet. It's still intranet, internet, it's, it's, it's part of the whole IT security uh, right, infrastructure. Um, and um, a lot of times people think with IT security, they probably think more hardware. Mm -hmm. Um, and with cybersecurity, it's probably a little bit more software on and hardware combination. Yeah. Well, one of the things that uh, we hear quite often is, as we're really starting to connect a lot of machines and assets, is that we're really we have additional security uh, concerns. We're not just focusing on the network, securing that network, but it may also be the physical security of that asset. Absolutely. Because it only takes you know someone getting access to that box or that machine 
to compromise a com even a corporation's network. So yes. and pe people's physical. You talked about physical security. People are a an aspect <laughs> of yes. Um, one of as a matter of fact, one of the um, the uh, items that. Uh, Force Point is pushing forward right now is behavioral um, security. So it's called the protecting the human point. Very interesting. And it's about doing um, behavioral analysis. So seeing wow. how I mean we are we are when we think about being compromised, oftentimes we think it's somebody from the outside. But in most businesses, we're the ones who have access to some of the most critical and um, crucial assets within a business. And um, you know, you, you know about social engineering, and, um, but just it, it more in terms of how people are affected by world events may make somebody snap or change, and then their, the way in which they use the items in a, in a facility, or the way they use their computer, or the way they go out on the internet, or or how they're behaving at work is something that we got to start paying more attention to. Interesting. Well, I really thank you for your time today, Jennifer. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Stephanie. Look forward to seeing you yes, in April. I hope to be there. Thank you. Thank you.